Hello, this is Malorian, and this is going to be a 50-point game of my Saren against Resnick. Alright, so this will be my first game with Saren, and the reason why I picked her up is because while I've been playing, uh, a lot of people have been, of course, telling me that Legion is broken and all this stuff, and for the most case, I don't really see it. I don't see the, the big advantage, but I know that Saren is supposed to be the very top caster. She has a very nasty feat, and so really I'm bringing it here to test it out. And uh, I think that the matchup here against Riznik will be a pretty good one, but uh, we'll have to always see. You never know what surprises my opponent might have. So the mission we got was Guidance. Uh, I took pretty much a beast loadout, much like I do with Ethag. Uh, so I have the Carnivian, the Typhon, the Scythian, five Shredders, I have a Nephilim Protector, two Harriers, and also a Raik. And... Uh, Looking up on my opponent's side, he's actually going with a, a tiered Resnick list, and uh, the one big proxy he has, though, is, of course, that big green template is actually going to be the battle engine, but otherwise, it's really neat to see the mix of uh, mercenary and Manoth stuff he has. Uh, one thing you can definitely see from this, though, is that his caster is pretty secluded on the right with the jacks, whereas all the infantry and cav is on the left. And so I'm really hoping I can get up there and take advantage of it. So he deployed first, I deployed second. Uh, I know that he can bring it together really quickly, but I'm hoping to get in his face as, as fast as possible, uh, get him tied up, pull my feet, and then hopefully get to his caster. And here's just a close-up of his lines. So you can see that he has, you know, the, the gunman here, halberdiers, and Stannis, and choir, and yeah, just, you know, it's really, as I said, it was really interesting to see all the stuff I'm used to seeing in his mercenary list be working for his menoth list. So with his first turn, pretty typical stuff. He's moving up as fast as he can. Uh, you can definitely see that his infantry is trying to move more to the, the right of the field in order to counter for it, but still, Resnick is pretty much by himself. My turn one, I don't want to get too much into his face yet. I'm hoping that he can uh, de dedicate himself and then I can go in, get some kills, then pop my feet. So uh, I'm pretty much moved up as you see here. I threw out some spells just for the hell of it. Uh, I have the spiky growth in the Carnithian and the Scythian. And especially with the Scythian, I have that one a little bit more forward. So I can really wreck a jack right away and who knows what all, what other damage I can do. So his turn two, he's not really all that... Uh, offensive. He moves up enough that I'll have something to charge, but he actually stays fairly far back, uh, which, you know, makes complete sense. Uh, his Gaiden is being moved away already, so there won't be any chance to be destroying that that early, and Resnick is fairly uh, protected, but obviously I have some other stuff I can go for. Uh, he did get some damage done with his shooting, though, uh, doing something like 8 damage total to the Scythian, and doing a bunch of damage to the Shredder to its left, and both of them are on fire. So my turn two then, this is what's going to be my feat. Uh, the fire damage goes and kills the one shredder, so it's gone. But otherwise, I'm going in all over the place with my lessers. I do the whole uh, blight bomb thing on the, the left harrier, which kills a lot of his gunmen, which is what I really need. Uh, pull away the Gaiden. Uh, the Scythian goes in and really wrecks that jack. Not enough to actually destroy it. And then otherwise, with my sprays, I kill a few more things from the center. And really, I didn't kill as much as I'd liked, but I, I'm just right here in his face. And I know now that there'll be very little he can do because he's all tied up. And then my next round, I can really be finishing him off. So his turn then, and this is when I remind him what the feat is. Just letting him know that, just so you know, uh, my feat is that everything in my battle group that you can't attack uh, with melee attacks. And once I said that... His face just dropped. It was something to disbelief, to frustration, to just disgust. Uh, you know, he, he really didn't know what to do. Spent some time sitting there thinking, just saying, you know, it's over, it's over. And, you know, he tried pushing on a little bit, doing a little bit of shooting, like saying into my Harrier on the left, uh, doing some damage. Uh, he tried shooting with his battle engine and missing shuffled a few things around and then said, you know what, it, it's just over. Because really looking at this, uh, I'm going to do so much damage on my next turn that he's going to have almost nothing left. I mean, I could probably pull off a caster kill if I really wanted to. And, uh, yeah, just gave up. So, victory to Saren. And this one was kind of a double-edged sword. Uh, on one hand, I was really pleased with the game and that I can... You know, it went really well. Uh, the Saren is obviously very powerful. And, I mean, I can now see that if, if someone's used to playing in something like this, 
it is it is just deadly. I, I mean, I would hate to be facing something like this, and I could see how people think that Legion is broken. Uh, that being said, uh, it obviously wasn't a, a great thing to do to go and piss off my buddy here. And uh, really, as soon as this was done, I tried saying, like, oh, come on, let's... How about we do a different list? We can change things up, blah, blah, blah. And he just didn't want to have anything with it. I think he even wanted me just out of his house. He was just done. So uh, that wasn't really good. So next time I better bring something a lot more nice. But uh, yeah, there's Saren. Hope you liked it. Bye.